Dex, what's going on? Nothing. I uh, saw you were working late. Thought you might want some dinner. Oh, you read my mind. Let me get you some money. No, no way. You get the next one. Deal. Uh, what are you doing today? Um, non-lethal tool drills. OC spray, collapsible baton, taser practice. Oh, did you see anyone tase themselves? You'd be surprised how often that happens. I really would be. Have you been tased yet, so you know what it's like? Tomorrow. Take a seat. You are about to go on a five-second ride, and that ride consists of a bunch of people hitting you with a baseball bat all at the same time, and those bats are made of lightning. Okay, but it's only five seconds, right? It's the longest five seconds of your life. It's like your whole body is getting the worst Charlie horse ever. The good news is you'll fall down, but you won't lose consciousness. That is great news. You got any other advice? Don't forget the rule of threes. Don't go hungry. Don't get wet. Try to get home safe. When you asked me to come over here, I thought it was just going to be us. I know you two have issues, but can we just get into that some other time? No, we don't have to. I have nothing to say to her on that particular subject. But when it comes to Blaze's career, I have a lot to say. What? I'm assuming that's why you asked me to come over here, so that we could make a plan to salvage Blaze's career? Look, I know that you're upset, but what you need to understand... No, what you need to understand is I didn't come here for you. I came here because I love my Uncle Sonny, and he asked me to come. I also care about Blaze's career, one that might be over as a result of the idiotic words that came out of your mouth and ended up in the invader. So please, spare me whatever excuses and tales of childhood woe that you may have. Let's get to work. Every cop shop is different. But when I got to Port Charles, Dante showed me the ropes. I really owe him everything. Where were you before that? Blue Cape PD, up in Maine and then Boston PD homicide. What's the biggest difference between here and there? Personalities. Although you get that everywhere, I guess. You need to study the community. Really get a feel for it. But those weren't the biggest or roughest challenges. What was? Not being able to talk about my beloved Red Sox. Oh man, you're a refugee from Red Sox Nation. Yep. There's nothing but Yankees fans here as far as the eye can see. I'm a Dodgers guy. Hmm. I keep that to yourself around here. Being a Dodgers fan is something you don't come back from. Oh, uh, that's on my list. Look, I know having Sonny on your resume hasn't made things easy for you, but you'll earn the respect of these guys. Just may take some time. I hope so. The guys around here have nothing but admiration for Dante. His integrity has never been questioned. Not with the brass upstairs or at the bar after the guys have had a few. Sometimes I wonder if it's better or worse to be Sonny's son or just a guy who worked for him. Doesn't matter. Because you're here now. <laughs> 